Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for the limits and the continuity. Given the piecewise function, so my suggestion would be express the situation in a number line. Locate the value where we have negative 2 and then 0. So kindly focus on x less than negative 2, where we have the function 2x plus 1 followed by 1 minus x square and include the negative 2. The third one will be 2 multiply with exponent ax plus b included the 0. Number 1. Does the limit when x approaching negative 2 for the function fx exist? Then explain the situation. So in here, limits when x approaching negative 2 from the left for the function 2x plus 1. If we substitute the negative 2, we will obtain negative 4 plus 1 and the value will be approaching negative 3. Limits when x approaching negative 2 from the right for the function 1 minus x square. If we substitute the situation and we will have 1 minus 4 and we will obtain negative 3. Limits when x approaching negative 2 from the left for the function fx. Limits when x approaching negative 2 from the right for the function fx. Does the limit exist? It depends on this part. If the situation is equal, y equal, refers to the value where we have negative 3 for both sides. That's why the limit is equals. So finally, if it is equal, meaning that limit when x approaching negative 2 for the function fx will be approaching negative 3 and the limit exists. For the second part, find the value of a and b if the function of fx is continuous at x equals to 0. The second information, f prime 1 is equals to f prime 0. So what we have to do now is to find the value a and b. By referring to the situation, fx is continuous at x equals to 0. So meaning that limit when x approaching 0 from the left for the function 1 minus x square is equals to limits when x approaching 0 from the right for the function 2 multiplied with exponent ax plus b because of the situation continuous means that the limit exists. Kindly substitute the value for the left we will have 1 equals to 2 multiplied with exponent 0 plus b. Exponent 0 we will have 1. Then b is equals to 1 minus 2. So b we will have negative 1. So now we will have fx is equals to 2 multiplied with exponent ax minus 1. Differentiate the situation. f prime x is equals to 2 multiplied with e power of ax focus on the power where we have ax differentiate the power and we will have a minus 0 rewrite the situation where we have the first derivative is equals to 2a multiply with exponent ax make use of the situation where we have f prime 1 is equals to f prime 0. Kindly substitute the value where we have 2a multiply with exponent a equals to 2a multiply with exponent 0. So 2a multiply with exponent a is equals to 2a. So 2a multiply with exponent a minus 2a equals to 0. Factor the situation 2a multiply with exponent a minus 1 equals to 0. 
So finally, 2a equals to 0, a equals to 0, or we can say e to the power of a is equals to 1. Ln both sides, and we will have ln 1. So finally, a is equals to 0. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.